Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this what I eat in a day video I'm going to be showing you everything I ate on a particular day Although this wasn't really a typical day because it was so hot I wasn't feeling as hungry as I usually would be so if this seems like not a lot of food then do bear that in mind It wasn't a regular day in that sense. Good morning everybody. Just made a really quick breakfast Usually I have toast but today I've gone for cereal I don't know why, I just kind of fancied it. So I've got Weetabix with almond milk and then banana and blueberry and some seeds on top. Favourite milk to have in tea at the moment is the Cali... Cal... Cali... Fi, no, wait. Cali... Cali... Farms. <laughs> Unsweetened vanilla one. Tastes so good, highly recommend if you like vanilla and you like... I'm not even really a fan of almond milk in tea, but that one is really good. I'm going off the Alpro milk, so I'm not going to lie. Um, the only thing with that is it pa it's packaged in quite a big plastic bottle, like the lid is a lot of plastic. But I realised that the Outpro Tetra Packs, you can't actually recycle them in loads, like there's only a few select stations, like recycling stations in the country where you can recycle those packs. I was putting them in the recycling and my mum was taking them out because you can't recycle them. Because they're lined with, they're not just cardboard, they're kind of like lined with plastic either side. So yeah, I feel like it's it's somewhat... It might even be better to buy the Califia ones and recycle the plastic because that definitely can be recycled. Anyway, getting sidetracked, but I'm going to drink my cup of tea, I'm going to have my breakfast, and also in the morning time, this is when I have my supplements. And one of them that I've been taking recently is this suspicious little baggie. This is, let me turn the camera around. These are actually omega 3 capsules, so they're in vegan capsules and the omegas in them comes from algae as opposed to fish so if you're looking for a vegan supplement that doesn't involve the killing of fish or even if you're not vegan and you just want a supplement that doesn't involve fishing because I read an article recently that actually the vast majority or I don't know if it was the vast majority or just a lot of the plastic in our oceans is from fishing and fishing nets and obviously reducing the amount of straws you use and the amount of single-use plastic you use is still beneficial but mass fishing has caused so much plastic to be dumped in our oceans but omega-3 is really important i really like nutrition and i was actually supposed to go to uni to study that so i do find it really interesting and obviously i'm really grateful that nothing fishy sponsored this video so i can let you know about their supplements but also i learned a lot about the fatty acid omega-3 it's really essential for lots of different eye and heart and brain function and also it can reduce lots of different things like the risk of depression the risk of dementia heart disease and so on and so forth it's been linked to loads of different things um, but it's actually an essential fatty acid so it's not one that you can your body can make you have to ingest it so when you eat fish oil because i grew up eating fish oil my mum would force us to eat a spoonful of just fish oil it wasn't disguised by any other taste it wasn't in a capsule it was not nice but when you eat the fish oil you're e actually eating so the fish eat the krill and the krill eat the algae so you are getting omega-3s fish do have omega-3s in them but they get that from algae they don't make it themselves they ingest it as well so why not just get it straight from the algae sauce i'll leave nothing fishy's details down below if you are interested and thank you so much again for sponsoring this video i appreciate it greatly but yes that's my breakfast and i also have a big glass of water as well because you know hashtag hydration um for a snack i tried one of these noosh or noosh i don't know how to say it but it's their cashew milk yogurts these are really nice to be fair it wasn't that sweet so i added some dates and some berries but i really prefer this yogurt to coconut milk yogurts i love the almond milk ones they do as well they're really really nice i recommend this brand in general but like i say a little bit plain maybe it's because i had the vanilla one yeah it was nice to add some things to it and this was just my mid-morning snack actually probably late morning snack i mean i can't remember i filmed this a couple of days ago and <laughs> everything's a bit of a blur the days blur into one when you don't have anything to get up for in the mornings am i right for lunchtime i made a salad this makes me seem really really healthy i promise you i'm not sometimes i just eat plain pasta or plain bread for lunch it's i'm not that healthy but because it was a hot day I fancied something fresh and I made this simple salad with lettuce, cucumber, red onion and some fruit. I put orange and nectarine in it as well to give it a bit of a zesty twist and I put some tahini dressing on top and I'll show you the dressing next because I also use that for dinner. Two salads in one day, wow who am I? someone who's really really hot and not used to this climate that's who I am I love using tahini for salad dressings it makes it really creamy and I just mixed it with some cider vinegar some garlic salt and pepper a squeeze of lemon juice and just mix that up in a little bowl if you make this and you find the dressing is too thick you can just add some warm water and it will make it a bit more runny I chopped up some fresh basil some tomato some lettuce 
a bit of avocado as well and I use that as kind of like a base salad and I put some of this fried potato seasoned potato stuff that my dad had made earlier in the day and yeah it was really tasty actually and with the dressing drizzled on top I tried to be a professional chef and do it all over the plate you know when they you know when they do that I feel like it's a bit of a waste because you can't I mean why put it on the edges of the plate you know it tasted good though it tasted really good and I would recommend, I mean it's just a basic salad. I'm sorry the recipes in this video haven't been crazy interesting, but hopefully if you like what I eat in a day videos, I can do more of these. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Nothing Fishy for sponsoring it. And if you like what I eat in a day videos, I have been requested to do a couple. So if you like these, let me know down below or give this video a thumbs up or you know, the usual stuff. Send me a message on Instagram, send me a message on Twitter. Talk to me, be my friend. <laughs> Either way, I hope you have a lovely day and hopefully I shall catch you in my next video. Bye.